Hi, this is Brother Sean, eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to get started using our Flash game templates. When you purchase and download the games, you'll get two files, uh, one of which is an AS2 file, meaning ActionScript 2, and one's an ActionScript 3 file. Based on which authoring tool you're using, you might need to use one or the other, or some authoring tools let you use both. I'm going to open up the ActionScript 2 file and show you how easy it is to insert your content into the game. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to insert your content into the introduction, conclusion. Uh, on this particular game, there's a, a, a lose screen, um, meaning you run out of time and you lose, and how to put in your own questions and answers and remediation. Really, the same technique is used for all of these. So I'll just go ahead and dive in and start showing you. Um, also, I'm using Adobe Flash CS5. Um, I'm also using a Mac. So if the windows look a little different on my machine, that's why. I have the stage open right here in the center, the timeline's up at the top, and my library's open over here on the right. So to get started, I'm going to show you how to put in your introduction text. I'm going to double click on the movie clip in the library named Introduction. And you'll notice that there's a red box with the, the default text in there. Really all you need to do is double click right into the text here and you can copy and paste your text right in there or just type your own um, using your keyboard. The red box is just a guide. You can move this text anywhere. Just stay within the red box and it'll look just fine in the game. You can format the text with different fonts, change the color and the sizing also. You'll use the same technique for your conclusion and your lose screen. Copy and paste your text in or just type in your own. Very simple and easy to do. For each of your questions, um, you'll notice that there's up to 20 questions allowed in each game. In this game, there's, so there's 20 question folders. If you open up question number one folder, you'll notice that there's answers. Um, this particular game has a hint box um, and your question and both remediations. Let's go ahead and open up the question one and you'll notice that it's set up the exact same way as these other um, files were. You have your question number one and your question here. You can just copy and paste the question in or just type your own right here in the window. If you want to insert a picture, you can go up to File, Import, import to stage, navigate to the picture you like and click open and it puts the picture right in there. If you hold down shift while you resize you know you can keep the proportions the correct way and put a picture right in there. Just stay right inside that red box and everything will look just fine. You know if my text now is, is behind that we can just shorten the text up a bit and you know you could format this to work with however you need to, need to do it. So that's how you insert a picture in there also. Um, same technique you use for your answers. Uh, we have the default um, correct choice already um, put in here for you. Um, I'll show you in another tutorial on how to change which answer is correct and which one's incorrect. Um, but you can just copy and paste your text, put it right in there. If you want to leave the A, B, and C, and D choices, you can, or you can remove those just by deleting it out with the text. If you like to keep it, then just, you know, just replace that text. Um, edit everything the same way as uh, before. Really simple to do. Um, you know, your hint box, same kind of thing. Um, you'll notice that there's a white box within here. Um, the, so that's kind of your, your guide box also. It's just the, the guide is actually right below that white box. Um, I'm using the timeline there just to turn it on and off. But all you need to do is just change your text and stay right within that box and everything will be just fine. Um, really, that's how you change all the text and the images and all the content within the, the game. If I were to publish in preview, the introduction text would be the text that lives right here. And your question text would be showing right up here at the, the top, and then your answer is right below that. The hints are used right over here. And each game is a tiny bit different, but the same theory applies for all of them on how to change and update your text.